Well, hey everybody, I just wanted to say there is nothing better than coming home. I mean, the moment that I walk through that door, um, I don't know, there's no place like home, right? I wanted to, uh, first of all, just thank everybody who has been praying for me. And I have to tell you that the five days of chemo. I did uh, hour and a half, two hours each day. Um, honestly, it was not that bad other than I had to be still, pretty still, for that length of time. A lot of people ask, how was the hospital stay? And it actually was really good. Hospital food, not so great. But the most interesting part to me was the removal of the pick line. First, they had to remove all the dressing, which is stuck onto you like glue and hot glue. And then the line, once uh, all the all the packaging and the and the bandages are removed, then they pulled the pick line out, and it was surprising to me how long it was. Here's my bruise from the pick line, and then it kind of goes through your arm, and then it kind of goes down into the main valve of your heart, and then all of that chemo is distributed throughout your body, which sounds a little bit spooky. And, but the actual administration of the chemo is really, you don't even know it's going into your body. You know, mostly it's the effect of chemo, which I uh, will probably see this week. But overall, I would have to say the chemo experience um, is kind of boring. When did the things beep? <laughs> the things beep? <laughs> when did the things beep? You know? <laughs> So I got home Friday night and then I spiked a fever. Then we thought we were gonna have to go back to the hospital, but my fever calmed down and don't really know what caused it. And then I was a little tired um, Saturday and Sunday. And then today, Monday, I went through my normal routine workout. I'm up here in the room that I work out in and uh, I had to take a break a couple of times because I got a little dizzy and, but everything that they suggested after chemo is to be active. One of the things the doctor mentioned to me was three A's, appetite, attitude, and activity. And after chemo, this is the week that it actually does what it's going to do. So right now, Hopefully, because it's really what you want it to do, my numbers are plummeting. And uh, as you probably already know, our bone marrow generates platelets, white blood counts, and red blood counts, and all of those are gonna plummet. And when they do, the good ones do as well, and thus no energy. So today, I have to tell you, Wendy's making fresh juices and smoothies, and I'm telling you, there's something to dumping your body with all those vitamins. Man, the energy that you get from those vitamins. So we'll see how that kind of diet works out after chemo recovery. I'll let you know as we get closer to the end of the week. I do wanna say that there is something to, and I have repeated this over and over, but I think it's worth mentioning again. There is something to trying our best to be healthy, eat that strong diet, because if something does come our way, our body is it's just not dealing with comorbidities. It's only dealing with that one thing. And then when it's recovering, it's not trying to recover other things. It's only working on that one thing. So um, I think that is our part. That is our stewardship. That is what we're called to do. Are we a good steward of what we've been given? Are the body that we've been given, the life that we've been given, the time that we've been given, the money we've been given, et cetera, et cetera. But are we a good steward of it? I think that is the key question. And um, I can tell you from experience um, that everybody, uh, all of the physicians, all of the nurses said, wow, if you were not in as good a shape and I worked out every day, I was there. Um, and they just said they don't have anyone on the whole unit that does that. 
uh, opened up the windows, I let the light in, I turned on my music, and it was Christian music, Christian lyrics. I believe that healing is mind, body, and soul. And I think all of that is kind of like a total package that helps a person heal better and to heal more completely. And I wanna say this one thing is still yet, we can try as hard as we want to, to be healthy, to eat right, to do the smoothies, to make the juices and all, take the supplements and work out and all that kind of stuff. And I've said this before, but if God has another plan, that is the plan I believe that's going to happen. So the prayer from you guys and the dependence on God, I think is just so foundational because without his endorsement, without his stamp of approval and his will behind our effort, I don't think we'll win. So I think if you have not totally submitted to that uh, and you're challenged with something, it doesn't even have to be cancer or leukemia, uh, start with prayer and end with prayer and get others involved that can pray with you and support you. And uh, there's nothing greater than having people love you and pray for you. So thank you again. I just wanted to give you a quick update so far so good and i'm looking forward to seeing what the week unfolds i'll see you later